Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top five title plugins for Final Cut Pro. Some of these are free, some of these do cost money. Um, when I initially downloaded all of these, they were all free, but I know about one that did get a price tag after a while of it being released. Um, but yeah, these are really good title plugins that I really recommend you use. And these are my most used title plugins um, when I'm editing my videos. All the download links to everything that I'm going to be mentioning in this video will be in the description box below. So if you're interested in downloading any of these for yourself or buying some of these for yourself, um, definitely go in the description box below to find them. I did do a video on all my Final Cut Pro plugins that are free and that I love using. If you want to go check out that video, I'll have that link in the eye up top and as well in the description box below. Um, so you can see all my plugins that I love using for Final Cut Pro, not just titles, but also transitions and things like that. Um, yeah, definitely go watch that as well if you're interested. So yeah, let's get into the video. So I'm in Final Cut Pro here, and as you can see, here is my project that I have. Um, and then I'm gonna be going here into titles and sharing with you guys my top five. So these are title packs, some of them, or some of them are just individual titles. Um, but yeah, so these are my top five titles for Final Cut Pro. So the first one I wanna cover is this one here, Simple Video Making 20K Freebie. Um, so this is part of a pack. Um, you can go to Simple Video Making's website. They have a bunch of free Final Cut Pro plugins and things like that. Um, this is just one of my favorite title packs from them. So as you can see, you have a set of 10 titles here that you get for free. Um, and what I like about this is the animations that these titles have and also just the customization that you have with these titles. I do have quite a few sets of um, titles that I have gotten from Simple Video Making, but these ones stick out to me just because of the quality that they have. Um, and you can use them for a bunch of different scenarios, titles or just like lower thirds as well. Um, so yeah, these are just some of my favorites. Here you can see some of the animations for some of these um, really nice animations and just very good quality titles for your videos. And if I take this title as an example, I'm just gonna drag this over this clip here. When it comes in, um, you can see when I tap on the title, here are all the customization things you can do. You can customize every single color aspect um, as well as the width and height of certain things. And then obviously the texts are also customizable and the text color, um, really, really nice plugins. And I really recommend you check this out if you're looking for good titles for your videos. Next one I have here is also from Simple Video Making and this is the Simple Video Making Messages Pack. Um, so as you can see, they have a bunch of little things here that look like messages that pop up on your phone. Um, they also have animations for these um, different styles of them. And then as you can see, you have a drop zone there where you can drop a photo, um, maybe for like a contact. Sometimes I use these to um, number things. So then in the place of the drop zone, I would put like a one, two, and three, um, just because there are, some, there are such nice pop-ups and um, you can really do anything with them. It doesn't have to be in the case of using it as a message. It can just be a simple pop-up on a video Good quality, again, great animations um, with these and they're just really easy to use. So this is what it looks like when it pops up. As you can see, it just has a nice soft animation. Um, then we'll stay there and then the close animation is also very nice and soft. Um, and then when you're going to edit, here you can see you can customize everything. Um, and then also here is your drop zone. So basically just drop your image in there that you want to have in the place of this arrow. Um, and then it can also scale and just pan and zoom and size the image itself um, so it fits into that circle there and looks the best. So that is the simple video making messages pack. Like I said, they have a few um, variations. This one has more of a gradient. Um, and then these are longer ones with different styles of speech bubbles. Um, Really, really nice pack and I really, really recommend you check them out. The next title pack I wanna cover isn't actually to do with text, but it is M Behavior Basics. So this is really nice if you wanna animate anything in your videos. So basically these act as a text. Um, so if I drag them over a video clip, you'll see it just looks like a simple text box. But as you can see, it actually animates whatever clip is beneath it. So I'm gonna click play. And then it's, you see it animates it so that it has a cool coming in animation. So they have a set of in animations, they have a set of out animations, and then also they have um, through. So this is just like a continuing thing that you can just play the entire time. So for instance, this one is wind up. So for the entire duration of the title, it will just have that um, playing. So you can just adjust the length of it. So that will just determine how long it's gonna keep doing that over and over again. Um, 
but I love using these for overlays and things like that. So say I, as you can see, I have this little screen recording going here. If I go into this clip and maybe add in like an in animation for it, let's just do the bounce in one. As you can see, it affects every single clip that's underneath it. So it affects the screen recording clip as well as my main A-roll clip. So how you work around that is you just make um, a compound clip. So everything underneath that title will be animated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a compound clip. So now you can see it only affects the phone. Um, so this is what it's gonna look like then. And that's really nice and a good effect to use. And they have so many um, that you can use and choose from, from these set of um, animations. And you can just play around with them and create some really cool graphics um, with these, with text or just like, like this, what I'm using it for, for clips. Um, but yeah, for text as well, this is also very helpful to animate some of your text. Really, really great plugin. Um, not text, but it works as a text title. Um, definitely recommend you check that out as well. Next up, what we have here is MCAM Rig. So this is, again, not actually text, but um, it works as kind of like a zoom in effect, but also acts as text. So as you can see, it just drags over as a piece of text, um, but then you'll see it's actually like a zoom in effect that it creates um, and then it stays there for however long the title is and then it zooms out again. Um, so as you can see here, when I tap all the text in the parameters area here, you can adjust if it should have an in animation or an out animation. Um, then there are a bunch of things you can adjust here to um, make it look different. So you can adjust the angle that the camera, cause it's kind of like a camera cam rig comes in. Um, so I'm just gonna play around with some of these. So like the Z rotation you can play around with and the X rotation so you can have some depth to it if you want. Um, so these are also really helpful for any type of tutorials that you're doing. Um, so if I were to have like this Final Cut Pro tutorial, I can easily zoom in on a part of Final Cut. You'll, I'll probably be doing this in this video when I'm editing. Um, and then I can easily just show you what I'm doing with the MCAM rig title overlay. As you can see, I use them also in this video here. So for instance, as you can see, I'm kind of at the side of the frame. So just to create a cool um, soft transition to me being in the center of the frame, I just use the MCAM rig. Um, very soft, um, it's not too like, just snappy when you just cut and zoom. Um, it just creates a soft transition to whatever frame I want. Um, and then also it's really nice. You can just easily ease out of it as well. Um, so I use MCAM rig a lot. It's one of my favorites and it's something that I find very essential for just things like this or tutorials to zoom in on certain parts of my video clip. Um, really, really easy and helpful to use. Then the last and one of my favorite finds that I got, this is the one that I mentioned was free and then now costs I think $10. Um, but it is such a nice pack to get for you for yourself if you are a YouTuber. So it's called Catch This Shooter YouTuber Pack. Um, so this one has a bunch of social media callouts and things like that that will help you to basically just like shout out some social medias, tell people to subscribe. They have some titles in here as well. Um, so you can see they have call to actions. So again, the animations are amazing. The customizations that you have with each element within the text is also really nice. You can edit colors of every single part of um, this. So as you can see, if I just drag this over here, I can adjust the color here. And then, um, yeah, you have a bunch of different variations of say subscribe buttons here um, with so such nice animations. I really was lucky to get this for free. Then you see you have some end screen templates here as well. That is um, also helpful for you to just like try out if you were looking for a good end screen for your videos. They have some layout here as well that you can also play around with, with some drop zones as well. If I use this one as an example, I'm just gonna drag it over and this is what it looks like. Um, just easy things to just create um, and customize your videos. Here you can see they have so many layouts that you can choose from live stream. And then the social media section is one of my favorites because of all the types of social media callouts that they do have. So these have different looks as you can see, um, but with each one, um, you can change the type of social medias that is displayed. So as you can see, this one is Instagram. And if I wanna use this one, I can just go here and choose icon option and then choose which one I want. So they have Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat. So if I wanted to shout out my Pinterest, I can just change that icon and it will change it for me. Um, so yeah, they have a few sets of 
social media call outs that you can use here and again the quality is absolutely amazing um, one of my favorite finds ever and then you can see they also have some titles here as well if you just want a simple title for your videos um, they have quite a few here that you can also just try out if you're not looking for um, just like social media call outs or things like that and you actually want some titles for your videos and then here are also top 10 so this is like counting down different things like maybe my video that's like top five and then you can have little um, icons for each number um, so yeah this is what my favorite probably text pack that I've gotten um, for Final Cut Pro is this one just because of how much you get in this pack and just how useful it has been just to get a good quality like shout out for your social media or things like that which um, you get a lot of but not at this quality always so yeah that is my last one last from my top five but definitely the top one that i love using as you can see i also have it here for my subscribe button that i use in my videos um also just change some of the colors and um, effects and then it came out really nice so yeah those are my top five title plugins for final cut pro i hope you guys enjoyed this found maybe something for you to use all the download links to these will be in the description box below so if you want to go get these for yourself definitely go in the description box below and check out these creators um, or just these websites to find one for you um, again some of these don't do cost money which i'm really sad about but um if you are going to invest in it, I really recommend it. But yeah, if this video did help you and got something uh, out of it, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other Final Cut Pro related videos. I click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.